But today, we're going to talk about a hymn that's called Prepare the Way, O Zion. And imagery in this particular hymn comes from the readings that are usually assigned to the first and second Sunday of Advent, but they're definitely Advent readings because they come from Isaiah. And Isaiah is read a lot because of the prophetic nature of that particular writer and the fact that most of the images that we have that predict Jesus is coming come from Isaiah. Now the word Zion means highest point and it's the name of the hill on which the city of David was built. It's currently has a different name but it is still within Jerusalem. For Christians it has become synonymous with the city of God or perhaps even the, the concept of the heavenly city. In Isaiah itself, we hear the description of it being a place of peace, a place of equality. Remember the description that the wolf shall lie down with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the kid, and the calf and the lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. There's an even stronger parallel with the very first few verses of the second chapter of Isaiah. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest of mountains, and it shall be raised above the hills. All nations shall stream to it. Many peoples shall come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach his ways and that we may walk in his paths. Goes on to tell us that the people who are being spoken about shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against the nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. And so let's hear how those descriptions play a part of our hymn from this today. Prepare the way, O Zion. Your Christ is drawing nigh. Let every hill and valley a level way appear. Greet one who comes in glory, we're told in sacred story. O oh, blessed is Christ that came in God's most holy name. He brings God's rule, O Zion. He comes from heaven above. His rule is peace and freedom and justice, truth and love. Lift high your praise resounding for grace and joy abounding. O oh, blessed is Christ that came in God's most holy name. Fling wide your gates, O Zion, your Savior's rule embrace. His tidings of salvation proclaimed in every place, all lands. Will bow before him. Their voices will adore him. Oh, blessed is Christ that came in God's most holy name. So, as you think about this particular hymn and the scripture that is so closely connected to it, how do you? Envision heaven. My second question for you is How do the ideas of true equality and real peace feel to you? In other words, what would be your own personal description 
of that equality and universal peace. And finally, one of the things that we hear often in our hymns and in songs in general is a line that gets repeated over and over again. Sometimes there's a refrain in the church, sometimes there's an antiphon. In this particular hymn, that last line is repeated over and over again. So how does that repeated line, O blessed is Christ that came in God's most holy name, resonate with you? Thank you once again for joining me and considering this particular hymn and those particular questions. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day and see you again tomorrow. And until then, take care and God bless.